Hello guys, it's Rachel. What's up? Welcome back. And today we are continuing the Kawaii Suit World Back to School series with these really fun back to school soaps. You might be thinking that this is kind of a weird idea to make soap for back to school, but I think it's a really fun way to get in the spirit of it. And these also make really great gifts for your teachers. Not saying that you should like bribe your teachers or anything, but some really cute soap might just get you started on the right foot. Just putting it out there. And just in like a practical sense, um, if you're going back to school, then there's probably gonna be a lot of people, which means a lot of germs, which means that you would be very grateful to have some nice clean hands so you don't get sick. Just looking out for you guys. But I hope you all enjoy the video. I had a lot of fun putting these together and I'm gonna have a lot of fun using them too. But before we get started, if you are not subscribed already, then make sure you tap that subscribe button and turn on notifications for new videos every single week. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. First up, let's make the easiest one, which is the pink eraser soap. So you're gonna start off with some melt and pour soap. You can find this at Michael's and I'll pop it out onto a cutting board and then just chop it up into pieces. Then throw that into a microwave safe container and microwave at 30 second intervals just until it is melted through. Be careful though, the soap is gonna be pretty hot so don't go like sticking your fingers in it or anything. It's just a good rule of thumb. Once you have successfully retained all of your fingers, add in a little bit of soap color and mix that through. But I find if you want a really nice vibrant pink, you might have to add in just a touch of food color as well and mix that all through. Beautiful. Next up, just pour this into your soap mold. I got this guy off of Amazon and then pop that in the freezer for about 25 minutes. It does take a little while to set, but it's kind of just the nature of soap. And then once that's ready to go, just pop it out of the mold. If you're feeling impatient, you could just stop here and have some very plain looking erasers, but to make them a little more realistic, I'll just chop these into the right proportions and then cut the ends at an angle. And this way it looks just like those pink pearl erasers that we all know and love, perfect for erasing mistakes, or in this case, bacteria. And next up, let's make the decorating soap. Now this is basically pipeable soap, which is super helpful for making kawaii faces and just adding on small details. It took a little bit of experimentation to get it just right, but I think I finally cracked it. So here's how to make it. Start off with a quarter cup of liquid castile soap. And no, this is not a liquid castle, common misconception, but basically it's a more natural soap. You can use it as body wash, you can use it to wash dishes, you can like wash a baby with it. Basically, it has a whole bunch of different uses. You're also going to need a quarter cup of baby oil and just give that a mix. I know this ingredient list seems a little bit random, so I'll talk more on the blog post about how I came up with this in case you're curious. Next up, add in about six tablespoons of cornstarch, mixing in after each addition. Don't be concerned if there's some lumps in the cornstarch, it's really not gonna make a difference. You want this to be relatively thick, kind of like shaving cream or whipped cream. And then to color the decorating soap, I'm gonna add in a bit of cocoa powder. And I just find that cocoa powder works a lot better than black food color, just because you have to add in way too much black food color to get it the right shade. And then I'll pop that in a piping bag and just pipe out some details. I decided to keep it nice and simple and I just piped out the word eraser and I stuck on a kawaii face. And that's how you make the adorable eraser soap, really simple. Next up, let's make the artist palette. Start off with some melted white soap and just add a little bit of brown food color. Then to make a nice tan shade, add in a little bit of yellow and just mix that in. Beautiful. Now you can pour this into some kind of flat silicone container. And if you wanna check the thickness of the soap, just pop in a toothpick and that should give you a good indication. Once you're happy with it, just pop it into the freezer for about 30 minutes, but make sure you don't move it right away. Otherwise the soap might slosh around a little bit. Once your soap is all set, just go ahead and pop it out of the container. And then you can lay down your artist palette template, link for this over on the blog post, and go ahead and cut it out. If you find that the soap is too hard, just let the soap sit out for a little bit and it should be easier to cut. For the thumb handle of your palette, just use a circle cookie cutter and cut out that little bit there. And then we can add the paint on with some decorating soap. So I'm just taking some pink food color and I'll color this a nice bright pink and blob it on the palette. I know it's kind of a pain to color six different colors, but the good news is that you can use the same bowl for all the different colors, so you don't have to wash too many different bowls. And then the final detail is just a pipe on the face, dot on the cheeks, and your artist palette is ready to go. Super bright, colorful, and adorable. Moving on, let's make the chalkboard. This one is really easy. Just pour some green soap into your silicone mold, along with some brown soap into the bottom one, making those a little bit thinner, and that's gonna be for the wood frame. Spread it into the corners, and freeze for 20 minutes. Once they're set, you know what to do. Just pop them out of the mold. And to cut this, I'll just score the border first and then go back in and cut it out. Feel free to refine this as you need and then stick it on with some more melted soap. Just make sure that you're working pretty quickly because the soap does set up fast. 
After that, I'll grab some more decorating soap and just pipe on some math. As you can see, we're going pretty hardcore here. We've got addition, division, the really advanced stuff. I also piped on a face, and then I stuck on a little bit of white soap, and that's gonna be our piece of chalk. And now our chalkboard soap is finished, simple and adorable. And now let's make the composition book. This one is like semi-experimental, you'll see what I mean. So I just took some melted white soap and I just splattered that inside of the rectangle mold. And then I stuck that in the fridge for about 10 minutes. And in the meantime, I colored some black soap. So I'm using some food color for this and I'll just mix it all through and let it cool for about five minutes just so it doesn't melt the white soap when we pour it over. So now I'm just pouring this over these splatters, get it all filled up, didn't have quite enough for that last one, but pop that in the freezer for about 20 minutes. And this is where the experimental part comes in. When you first pop them out of the mold, they're gonna look so cool, but you'll see what happens at the end. Regardless, to finish these up, I'll just chop off about a half inch, and we're gonna replace that with our spine. And then I stuck it back in the rectangle mold, and then pour it over some more black soap. That went straight into the freezer again for another 15 minutes. Pop these guys out of the mold, and you'll have some super cool composition books. I also made some labels by cutting out some white soap, and I stuck them on with melted soap. And then I used the decorating soap to add on a cute little face, along with some pink cheeks. Adorable. However, I noticed that over time, those white spots really faded, and I think it's because the black soap tends to bleed into the white, so I just re-splattered them afterwards using some white soap. And they still looked adorable, so you could just make a block of black soap and then splatter them, and that would be cute too. And then last but not least, let's make the apple. So I'll pour some red soap into a large silicone container and freeze it for 30 minutes, but again, don't move it right away. And then I'll cut this out using my apple template. Link for this is on the blog post, but you could also use a cookie cutter. And if you find that the edges are a little bit rough, you can always round them out with your fingers. And then I'll also cut out a leaf out of some green soap, along with a stem of brown soap. Then I'll just stick these all to my apple, using the decorating soap as the glue. Finally, I'll just add a little shine on the apple with the decorating soap, and then pipe on the faces. So cute. And that is how you make all of this adorable school soap. These make great gifts for your teachers, and they're just fun to make. And now that our soap is all finished, let's hop into the outro. So that's how you make these adorable back to school soaps, and I hope you enjoy. And if you like this video, make sure you tap that subscribe button and turn on notifications for new videos every single week. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats. The Etsy sticker shop is right up there, and my last video is right down there. All right, well, take care, guys. Love you all so, so much, and I'll see you all back here very soon. Bye, guys.